stop. Breathe in. Exhale. Release. Be present with God. Sabbath. Taking time to recreate, renew, to trust in, and reflect upon God's gracious providence and to refrain from work. Sabbath is a day to stop. Stop being driven, worried, obsessed, and oppressed. Sabbath is a day to restore your being psychologically, emotionally, energetically, physically, and spiritually. A day to breathe. To breathe in God's life-giving spirit, the breath of life. To exhale, to release the entanglements, tensions, and trials of life. To reconnect and rest in God's trusting. Creating a holy rhythm in life. Setting a holy ritual for a day different from the others. Engaging in Sabbath is allowing a sense of wholeness and well-being to emerge. Stepping away from the busyness creates room to see the world afresh through a different lens and opens the way for love and compassion to emerge. In Deuteronomy, we hear, Observe the Sabbath day and keep it holy, as the Lord God commanded you. In resting from our labors, we, like God, said, stop for a moment to take in all the goodness of our efforts and our life. We see with eyes refreshed, as God saw on that first Sabbath day, the seventh day, the day of completion, when God looked and took in all of the creation that had come to be and pronounced it good. How often do we take a moment and look back over the past day, week, or month to realize all the goodness, all the blessings that have transpired? Do we take moments of respite to observe God's hand at work in us, through one another, and all creation. Observing Sabbath opens us to the greater story of the divine at work in the world and allows us the gift of being restored to wholeness, to relationship with God. Sabbath is putting our trust in divine providence and provision not simply relying on ourselves, which is challenging for us in the 21st century. Our world is complex and often driven. We are used to relying on self to make things happen, to get things done. Often our focus is narrow, directed, monocular. Our vision is inhibited from seeing, taking in, and enjoying the wide panorama of God's beautiful creation. Sabbath is about freedom. A freedom of being in God, resting, letting go of the demands of life, things that enslave us, drive us, and others. Sabbath is a gift we give ourselves and others. The law of keeping Sabbath is a life-giving law to serve humanity. Keeping Sabbath is a moral, ethical, rich, ethically rich practice which enhances all relationships and life. As you step out and take a day and take a breath, you allow others the gift of doing so also. In that way, you are lifting up 
the lowly. Helping others to have a richer life. As Jesus and his disciples are walking through the grain fields, the disciples pluck some of the grain. The Pharisees question Jesus. Why are they doing what is not lawful on the Sabbath? Jesus goes on the defensive, drawing on an ancient story of David in response. David and his men being hungry ate the bread of presence, which was only which only priests were lawfully allowed to eat. And just so you know, plucking grain on the Sabbath to quell hunger was permissible. Harvesting grain on the Sabbath was not permissible by Torah, by law. So Jesus has gone from quietly walking through the field with his disciples to being challenged, to being angry. He is defending the actions of his disciples and challenging the authorities, challenging the way The law is too tightly held. In the synagogue, Jesus becomes aware of a man with a withered hand. And the Pharisees watch to see if Jesus will heal the man on the Sabbath so they can accuse him. But what does Jesus do? He boldly, blatantly calls to the man, come forward. Then questions the Pharisees, turns it back on them. Is it lawful to do good or to do harm on the Sabbath? To save life or to kill? The Pharisees were silent. They knew the law made provision in emergencies to care for both animal and human life on Sabbath. God's law, Torah, was given to give life, to enhance well-being. Jesus' words and actions serve to loosen the compacted soil around the heart, to shake up the status quo, to make the world the way for new life, to bring healing and wholeness, joy and laughter, not only in the moment, but for all humanity through all time. Harden hearts and minds. Diminish and restrict the life-giving force of spirit. Creating an environment of enslavement. We must each ask ourselves, do we allow ourselves and others the gift of Sabbath, of taking a breath, of stepping away for a day to goof off with God? To play, read, sing, reflect, and dream for a day? Do we allow ourselves the gift of restoration and celebration to fill life with joy and laughter and conversation? Allow the gift of restoration in relationship with God and have a sense of freedom. It is never wrong. It is never the wrong day to do good, to heal, to save a life, or to allow yourself to participate in the restoration of your own soul or the souls of others, of all creation. These stories reveal the constrictions of life that come from holding on too tightly, to being driven, to taking strict interpretation of the law without compassion. Remember, you were created for wholeness and holiness. Take Sabbath time. Make Sabbath a priority. Stop. Breathe. Release. Reconnect and rest in God's loving.